Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins today. I've got a very different type of project for you um, compared to the usual paper crafting cards that I usually do and I have explained in videos before that I really really love to put soft crafts and mix them with my paper crafts and I'm doing exactly that. I'm taking my brand new Textures Wings and Things Vintage B book page stamp. This is a bit of a mouthful uh, but it's from the Wings and Things collection and it is uh, like an insect species identification chart style stamp. It's all one piece and I'm going to be stamping this onto fabric and then I'm going to be doing some colourful embroidery as well to uh, really pick out the insects details. It is a time consuming project, it is so worth it. I've already chosen my colours so in preparation I have, as I say, I've chosen my colours of embroidery. Um, I've got my embroidery hoop and I have ironed, cut myself and ironed, a piece of canvas. Now the fabric that you want to stamp onto, uh, for stamping you need it to be as close knit as possible. So tiny, tiny gaps between the weave of the fabric. So this canvas, it was a really inexpensive sort of one pound, um, really cheap canvas tote that is made for adapting for embellishing and such I bought this from a local craft shop um, I've cut I've ironed it and cut it so I've actually got two pieces of this that I can play with another time I've got an embroidery hoop so I've just cut it slightly larger than the embroidery hoop and of course I can trim this down a little bit more because I'm going to be stamping this large stamp but onto a larger piece of fabric I've got my biggest stamp platform and that is the Sizzix stamp platform here so I'll be utilising that and then I've also got my beautiful embroidered threads. Now I have chosen the um, order of my thread colours so I've just sort of laid them out um, over the bugs really on the stamp set and I've just made sure that they're spaced so there aren't any pinks too close together, the yellow and orange are separate, the blues are sort of spaced apart a bit, um, and so on and so forth. So this way hopefully I get a nice even um, distribution of the rainbow colours and nothing looking too patchy. So I'm going to put these to the side. These are just simple embroidery threads. Um, these are really just what I had in my scraps box or sewing box at home. The first thing to do is to stamp onto the canvas. So let's put the embroidery hoop away for a little while and come on into the stamp platform. Now inside my stamp platform I already have a Sizzix sticky grid. This is going to hold my canvas down perfectly so I'm smoothing that down making sure I'm not stretching it at all. You also want to just be sure before you start that the embroidery hoop that you've chosen is going to fit your stamp in perfectly. Now I'm not worried about the piece at the bottom, um, I'm going to just leave that piece off and I'm just going to have it like so. So I'm going to lay my stamp down making sure there's no hairs, fluff or anything in the way there onto my canvas. I'm going to pick this up and I love with the Sizzix platform you can take the lid off and turn it over while you do your inking. Now for this I'm going to be using Versifying Claire. I get beautiful detail in a solid black but it's a pigment ink so it's going to sit nicely on top of the fabric but when it dries it is waterproof so if this canvas was to get wet at all it wouldn't bleed everywhere. So I'm going to ink the stamp up and I'm just going to be really careful about not capturing the detail at the bottom. Now my particular ink pad is starting to get a little bit old so it may be the case that I'm going to need to stamp this more than once um, but this is the beauty of having a stamp platform. You can do that and know that readjusting or lifting up your stamp and re-inking it you're not going to be moving it at all. Now I've got a little bit of ink on the edge of the stamp there so I'm going to wipe this off because I don't want any ink on the background of my canvas. Then I'm going to press my inked stamp into the canvas, making sure I press down all that detail. As I say, this is a pigment ink, it's not a dye ink. So this is not going to seep into the fabric, but you may find you need to repeat this a couple of times. So carefully just lifting that up. And as you can see, we've got some of the detail, but we need to go over that a couple of times and I haven't inked this bottom part at all. There, beautiful. If I just lift that up, 
Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? That just makes a really nice fabric anyway, but we are going to really enhance this. So next is to place this inside our embroidery thread. So I'm going to put the base one underneath. I can see through my canvas so I can see where that is central. If you want to put this onto some sort of gridded mat as well, you can do to ensure that's central. I keep the uh, embroidery thread as tight as possible. So let's do this up quite a bit. So it's just the smallest gap at the top. So it really does have to stretch the canvas as it goes over the top. So with my embroidery thread, I'm going to just strip this so that it's much thinner thread. Now you can buy thinner thread or you can do it this way. So each of my embroidery threads are made up of about five or six um, threads, them, individual threads themselves. So I'm just going to untwist these so that I've got really thin ones to be working with because I don't want this to be uh, too chunky, too bulky. I want to really get into the detail of each of the uh, insects here and just pick out small amounts. So starting with my ladybird, I'm going to come down to the middle, the centre of the ladybird, right down to the middle, feed it through until almost at the end here and up to the top of this part of the shell. And then I'm going to continue to do that. So I am going to come back into the bottom rather than trying to get into the top here from behind. Because the weave of the fabric is, uh, it's actually quite wide. It's fine for stamping on, but it's actually quite wide for stitching fine embroidery on. So as you can see there, I've got a bit of a gap between the colours. So now I can go in between the two lines. But I don't want to put two holes too close together. There, like so. So I've got three lines and they are sitting beautifully next to each other. I'll come back down to the bottom. The thing with stitching onto canvas is you are going to get some pull. So it's usually better to sort of aim for a little bit further than you want your stitch to go because when it pulls when the tension pulls tight like so you are going to get a bit of a gap and I like to overlap my stitches when I'm working with a fine thread like this because I just get a better overall look. Now I've reached the end of that half of that bug I'm going to tie it off at the back and repeat for the other end. I'm going to try and leave the tiniest gap between the threads in the centre as well. So once I've completed that particular bug that I wanted to do, and I don't want to do too much on each one because I want the stamping, the detail to really show through, I will tie this off at the back and move on to the next one. So after quite a bit of time and an awful lot of patience, I have got the main bodies of the insects uh, coloured in as such with threads. Now I've tended to go in with most of them with either a two-tone thread or two different colour threads, building up the colours, a little bit of shading. Um, I've really enjoyed this, but I do have one more thing or two more things to do to this with the embroidery. I'm going to use white threads and I've actually been separating the threads to make them slimmer to give me more detail. So for example, on the butterfly, you can really see the detail that we're getting there. Uh, I'm going to go in with white on just the insects that have wings and do their wings as well because I think that will really pick them up and uh, then just finish off with a few little sequins and beads on some of these. So now I've completed this I've got all the different coloured threads running through the bodies of each of the bugs some of the wings that are white as well. I'm not an expert sewist um, or embroiderer. I have added some sequins to a couple of the bodies as well. So the middle of the spider there, the, the ladybug and uh, this green bug down here just to add a little bit of interest. I'm actually really pleased because you've just got that pop of colour and that texture going on. You can feel the threads because of course they're raised up. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. So let's see how we now finish this off. So first things first, I am just going to tension the uh, canvas again. I'm just going to make sure that everything's as tight as possible, just pulling that through, making sure that I haven't loosened anything whilst working with it. And also doing this, ensure that you are not distorting the image by pulling one area too tightly. 
so happy with that now so now I'm going to go around the edge I have a threaded embroidery thread on a needle quite a wide needle for this one and I'm going to go around about a centimeter two centimeters probably from the frame and I'm just going to go in and out around the entire hoop around this spare canvas and now I've gone round the entire hoop, I've got hold of the two loose ends here and they meet together. I'm going to turn this over, don't worry about the back and what that looks like, it's going to be messy. And I'm just going to pull this thread nice and tight and that's just pulling everything here in. So should all fold in nicely and then I can tie that off at the back here. And there is my finished embroidery hoop using the stamp set that comes from the New Textures Wings and Things collection. You can do this with any stamp, but I think this one looks particularly good. I'm really pleased with the result. I've decided not to do anything else on the background because I want that to really be the feature there. If you enjoy videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel just here. And I think you're also really going to like this video just here. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again very soon.